What a beautiful day for it. It's really random, but cool. What is it? See if I can open it. If you want. Oh, that's different. Probably won't buy it because it's it's not clove shaped, so <laughs> I probably will never ever sell it, but be interested to know what it is. Statesman box. I'm gonna put a box, I don't know. Right, we're not, I know what I'm gonna do now. Let's just Google image this. Whatever. Let's see if I can do it. Let's get in the line. Okay, so it's coming up with. So that could go for like 30 quid. I don't know what it is. Hard shell combination box. But it's not worth it. I thought that um, you were going to not, not buy anything. I'm not buying anything like this, man. I was just, I was just giving it for reference. All right. But if it was like £100, I would have got it. Would you? Even though it messes your process up a little bit. Hey, hey, well, there's money, there's money, but that's not enough money for it. But it's something to work out for if you sell that kind of stuff, I think. Shorail, I think. They got this here. A Viv, but there's no label. There's a label at the bottom. Um, it is probably real, but it's got a small hole right front. 15 quid. Yeah, that's the standard tonight. We've got here Al Capone's own vintage hat. <laughs> Uh, I've not even started yet. I've been looking at Funko Pops and all sorts and this. What is it? Is it a Squishmallow thing? Well, it's not a Squishmallow because it has feet. Okay. Well, that's a good point. I didn't know that, bitch. I mean, shallow. Just need a bit of a wash, but it's like a high neck and some a vintage Nike label. Size large. Yeah, it's large, large, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can see that it's a little bit. I think it needs a wash. That would be pretty good, but it's £3.75. I think that's okay. That's cool, actually. A little tag there hanging out. Surely, put that in the wash, that'll just go bye-bye, won't it? Uh, what is on this? Nah, it might be worth it. It might be worth it. £3.75, I'm going to give it a go. I'll give it a go. Give it a wash and see what happens. See, this might have been good, but it's £10, so I don't think I can sell it very well, but it's like an official merchandise, Celtic. Um, Last week I did see like a Man City kind of jacket. So again, that was what puts me off when it's like the official merchandise. It, although it still probably has a, a little bit of price in it, when it's actually like official sponsor stuff, it tends to do better, doesn't it? So for £10, I think it's a bit too steep. So we found one of these here. And just by the glance of it, it looks good. But, um, I mean, it's got all like the, what do you call it? Champions League stuff all over it. But when you check the code out, it comes up with nothing of the sort. So this is what you avoid. And I normally feel like most of the items that are made in Thailand tend to just be um, not the good stuff, if that makes sense. So I mean, you can tell there as well, it's a bit dodgy. That eye is looking a bit off and it's a bit tapped there. So I've been learning about football stuff. And so I'm now more confident to pick stuff up and not pick stuff up, so. So this is um, from Coin Network. It's from Adventure Time, and it looks pretty cool. Shiloh found it. Oh, Shiloh. 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 Shiloh's just pulling it all the bits Shiloh. Shiloh, this is your initiation into the reselling club. We'd like to welcome you. <laughs> There's one there for $32, so let's actually check it. That's a bag, is that a bag? What? Some of them look like backpacks from when oh, check it. Oh, okay, I'll go check it. This is there's actually a hilarious bit of BMO, you know, on Adventure Time. So he takes his batteries out. Yeah. So he lines some other batteries up, takes his batteries out, he dies, lands in the batteries, wakes back up again. I have to show you, it's, it's actually hilarious. Sounds really funny. You guys are mean, you know. But we've got one thing up to now. Maybe we might find something else, but I ain't worried. All right, this is the bang the shop now. We're going to do it, yeah? Lulu's on the cards, man. Come on, let's go. We can do it. Oh, this is you, Lola. You got this. This is me, man. This is you, man. I'm about to find some next Lulu. This is you, man. This is me, man. <laughs> I was destined. Destined for greatness, man. Destined for a bang, man. Destined for a bang, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's that? It's a no-go. No bang? No-go. No bang? Failed. Don't worry.
And all that. Do you want a ladies' lucky bag? At least 50 United is only 55 pounds. You know, I feel lucky. To be honest, I thought if the, if the power was flavoursome, I'd pick up one of them. Flavoursome? <laughs> well, like, a, like an Oxo cube. <laughs> oh, nice little one. Shot cardigan. I like the shot stuff. Always reminds me of school. Obviously, I never wore a cardigan to school, but that's a different story. But yeah, we'll take that. I like that one. Um, this shop's always nice. It's always like a bit boutique -y. They, look, they like to pick the pieces out. Oh, we got a deal. Big deal. Deal UK, £5. Is it XL? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, deal UK clothing. It's like a um, sea fisherman kind of style. Got a macaroni, um, macaroni fabric pattern. And it's just always like proper embroidered, well, well made, made in England stuff. Look at that. Love it as well. Do it at btinternet.com. No, look, have a look. No, look. I've got you something that Weird you like. Weird fish. Oh. What's the big deal, man? Big deal. I found on it. What do you reckon? It doesn't really sell well, though, does it? We've got to admit it. Uh, yeah. It's just not a good seller. But it's so nice. Just think the way it's made. How much should I go for on eBay? I don't know. Probably not either, innit? No. Nah. <laughs> uh, there you go, just grab that. I'm just chucking nah, them. Just grab that. Ah, no, I'm We've got that. We've literally got that at home. But we don't know where it is. We do. It's underneath your bed, somewhere. Ladies' designer rail, yeah. right? We've got a Louis Cooper dress here. Mad. Designer. Weird fish. Jack Wills. Weird fish. The only thing that I could say, I won't even say it's designer, but these brand new Paul Smith jeans, £15. Oh, they're not bad, but what size are they? Not good. So this is it. It's getting hard, man, isn't it? Everywhere I'm going now, like, all the prices are going up and up, flipping it. Obviously, that's not £50, but it is £20 now. Stokey. It's cool, but this £20 call is not cool, man. That's mad, man. <laughs> anything here either it's just gone crazy like this was like a go-to but the only problem is that where we are they don't really have the brands which justify those kind of prices so i mean like yeah you can sell them for these price they probably will sell them but a lot of it won't sell so you go further down south and yeah you can pay 10 pounds because it's like a good brand but here it's just it's all like m s and tesco and oh that's actually pretty cool I remember this stuff actually, but it's like old American stuff. Uh, if you can see it, red cap. But I think it's is it gas monkey. Blood, sweat, and beards. That's cool though. Red cap. Uh, yeah, the VF Imagewear. If you if you know that, that's all that Harley Davidson stuff is made with VF Imagewear, like newer stuff. Not well, yeah, old new. If that makes sense, not like new new. Um, that's pretty cool. Out of luck, we've only found one ever before, but on this side of the world, I don't think people know what it is as much. <laughs> See, look, yeah, you got a red cap, red cap shirt there, and that went for £90. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything special about it, but just rat think. But it's like a mechanic shirt, so that's very similar to this one. But this has just got what on the back of it? Blood, sweat and beers. So this potentially could be a decent find, actually. Go ahead. Levi's belt here. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. What's it saying? 100% full grain bovine oh, leather. full grain though as well. Is that cow leather bovine, isn't it? Cow leather. Yeah, but full grain's like when they use the whole leather. So if you turn it over, now look, click, can you see? That's, I know it sounds a bit grim, but that's the skin. So oh. you'll never get the same full grain twice. Cause this is the literal skin of the cow or whatever it is. Yeah, it's cow. Oh, it looks actually, I'm actually getting it now. Really? Yeah, it's actually turning on. Four, four pounds. Four pounds. Okay. USA jerseys. Okay. Jerseys, but I don't know the, What's Let me see. MCML quadruple X? Uh, I know it's 1990 something. Oh, is it? Hold on, let me check, let me check, let me check. 
I'm using my phone, so I can't really. <laughs> Let me check, hold on. Okay, so that is 1980. 1980 jerseys. That's it. It's cool, Ida. That is really cool. You're on the YouTube now, Chica. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got then? So I don't know what this is. Maybe Chica will know. So look, there's nothing there. I just like the style of it, it's different, yeah. isn't it? But... Mmm, have you seen that before? I've never seen it, Jay Tavernita. Made in France. Potted, made in France. Well, if it's made in France, good. yeah, I was going to say. That's 100% cotton. And that, that looks nice. structure, that last... Hold up, let me see that structure. That net, that cost a lot of money to create. Oh. See, that's my problem here. Yeah. I'm, I'm always... Just picking up because of the name instead of just the size, the shape. Size 10. Yeah. I sold a pair of boo boo trousers on my shirt for like six quid. Oh, really? Size eight. Well, well, there you go. But show us Guy Diamond then. Why well, is this one so good? So, um, it's got the tag still. I mean, look. Oh, it's dead it's stock. A, yeah, dead it's, stock Guy no, Diamond. Yeah. Okay, and it's let's actually go. actually got the trolls thing in it. Right. And it should like. Usually, um, the ones you would find, it wouldn't have that. I would just have a build up red and a build up bear thing. But see, the fact it's got the troll thing on it, okay. it's good. So it's like a proper edition one? Yeah. How much and is it? It's got all the tags on it. It's only £3. Okay, well, we can give it a go. And it's well detailed. Yeah, Mum. Weird fish jumpsuit for £3. What's the material, Laura? And what's the size? It's size 14. It's um, embroidered with. Is that a good size, Laura? 14 is, is a better size, yeah, it's, I'm guessing it's cotton, yeah, 100% cotton. That's right, isn't it? Oh, well, it's you've, got, you've got some good bits, I'm going to put my bits away now. Yeah, you, put, you put your bits away because no one wants to see your bits. Thanks, Mr. Mr. I appreciate that. You think you're like nervous, you don't you? <laughs> That's the problem. I can see it, excuse me. It has different lips. Okay. It's animal, but it's 100% suede. Oh, where have we got? But look at this. It's YKK zip. Well, someone's put that in there. Have they actually put that in there? Is it always in there? Adventure Wait, do you think that was in there? Well, it's animal, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit animalic, Maybe, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Cool. But yeah, it's 100% cow suede leather. Oh, Is it Y2K yeah. animal or not? I would say, yeah. You can flex it. That's very Y2K. Okay, well, you can have a good time with it, I think. £5, what do you think? I think it's good. I would call you because you're not in it at all. We need to see your face. We need to see his face, don't we, Rhubarb? I don't know if it's worth much, but it's like worth me like 25 quid. I might have it for myself, you know. Did you buy a Phil Collins top the other day? Uh, yeah. Well, it's Did got you? bleach on it. Yeah, so yeah. you could just wear that, listen to that. You're all good. Feel it. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. <laughs> So, I don't know how to end this video, um, but I'm going to do a quick little update in here. Let's put, let's put YouTube on, just real quick. Hi, YouTube. Oh, I'm for it. So, what's going on, Lo? What's well, the update? I'm emptying all the eBay boxes, hanging them on the rails, ready for shows. So, and whatnot. we've got a few bits here. Um, do you know what? Some of the stuff that's hiding here, Pete, you just... Have we got some pieces? You Show just, me some pieces then, show us. You're messing about Show me, here. Show me some hitters. Uh, I found, hang on, I'm just going to go through Narnia. <laughs> it's like a charity shop here, now. That's Stony. Oh dear. It's giving spring. I didn't even know that was here. That's such a nice spring piece. I didn't even know. So that needs to... I was reckless, I was reckless as to... That needs to help. Oh man, you know what? Grungy, innit? Proper <coughs> grunge, 90s. <coughs> On an yeah, XL, but that's like a big XL. That's Look cool, man. I don't even you know, know what, what you call that. Do you know what it is? What? I, I genuinely thought I sold that. Genuinely no, thought I was... genuinely Genuinely thought I sold it. Oh, so, is that a puffer? That's a North Face, isn't it? That is a North Face. It's not in great condition. I was going to beat up. So, I mean, we'll chuck it on for a pound and see where it, where it gets. Yeah, that's, but, that's a bit of fire. A little bit of but, fire. But um, look at this. I think that's a vintage Lacoste. Yeah, I thought I sold it. No, you haven't sold it, so mate. That's wild, there. man. I didn't realise. But there's some cool bits. How cool are these? You found these, didn't you? Yeah. Air Jordan, dungarees, dungs. <laughs> I forgot what they call it. Is it aqua something or something? I can't remember what they call it. There's a specific thing with these 
Type Talk of about Jordans. label. Fire piece. My label. Fire piece, basically. Just fire. Straight fire. So, yeah. Cool, man. I was going to go back to eBay as like a... Uh, as a full business again, like full-time eBay. I'm going to get some shelves and do it properly this time. Because to be fair, these boxes, although they are good, they do me. I didn't have to move the boxes individually just to get to the bottom one. So um, this is just a way for me to kind of cleanse and start again. So We're going away to America, to America on the 10th, but hopefully oh, we'll yes. be able to share some footage. Yes, we're going to have something going on, I think. Yeah, so um, yeah, we yeah. are going to do like a whatnot show where we'll be like in Reaching about the... In the, rag, in, the, in the in the thrift stores in the thrift in the thrift yeah and then on the last day before we leave we're going to do like a big whatnot show with yeah. all the things that you guys want so you get to pick on the way we'll do some giveaways little shows and then on the actual whatnot show thanks guys see you in a bit. appreciate you being here see i'm just gonna hoover now see you later